Hello, and welcome to Thimble and Plume, Doc and Bray Sew Along, Part 5, Putting It All Together. Okay, so gather up your crown and your brim. Take your, your brim, and you're going to find the matching notches that we marked originally, and go ahead and place those against the seam line of the crown. See what I'm doing here is I am now figuring out which direction I want to fold those seam allowances so that they create the least amount of bulk. Um, and then I'm going to uh, secure it in place. And then I'm gonna take the other side. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna find the matching notch. I'm gonna match that up to the seam, seam, excuse me, the seam of the crown. Folding those seam allowances in whichever way is, um, creates the least amount of bulk and it lays the flattest. I'm going to go to the center. There should be a matching notch in the center. I'm going to take that notch and I'm going to match that up to the other remaining seam line. Then um, now I'm going to baste these in place. What I'm going to do is I don't want to go directly on that fold line. Uh, the reason being is that this is going to be permanent and I want to be able to, I want it to be able to be covered up by the lining later on. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna baste this down. We're gonna use a permanent basting stitch. So um, it's it's not a small stitch. It can be a fairly larger, um, fast stitch because it's really just used to hold things in place until we can stitch them down. Again, I'm keeping it about an eighth of an inch away from the seam line in order to leave room for the fold and to cover it up with the lining later because these basting stitches are going to stay in the entire time. Uh, and then once I get to the end, I'm not going to I'm not going to tie off yet because I want to um, be able to put my my uh, other brim in and these overlap. Uh, so you can see I'm stitching down those seam allowances. I decided to do those open because it created the least amount of bulk in there. And that's pretty much what it comes down to. You want to put your seam allowances in a way that makes it sit pretty. So we're taking the other brim piece and we're going to repeat what we just did. We're going to find the matching notches. We're going to line those up. Make sure you're lining up with the seam line of the crown. So you are going to have an overlap. Uh, each of those overlap about an inch, so it's going to be close to a two inch total overlap between those uh, brim pieces. Going to the other side and then into the center and securing everything in place. Now sometimes you will, you can see I, I've got a little bit of ease in here. It's not much and all I'm going to do is just work it out as I'm stitching it down. Uh, it's fine. It's no big deal. It's not too much ease. It's not like I'm having to, as long as you're not having to gather it in, you're fine. If, if you want to use pins, go ahead and you can use pins for this. You just want to place them parallel to the cut edge so that you're not getting any slippage because of the bulk of the fabric. So I've got that in. I'm just going to rinse and repeat and stitch, use my basting stitch about an eighth of an inch away from where that fold line is marked. You know, I really like these uh, these quilting clips I found. I just got them on Amazon. I'll go ahead and put a link in uh, into the um, comment box. Uh, but it's, they're really great for projects like this when you have something thick. They're also really nice uh, for uh, leather. I love using them if I'm working with leather. Uh, so I'm finishing up here. I've gone all the way around. And I am just uh, finishing it up and I'm going to go ahead and finish it up and secure it with a knot. So now that's complete. We're going to go ahead and get the um, get those cut edges stitched down and secured in place. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to begin folding the seam allowances up and I'm going to be folding these on that fold line. Really important that you're pretty accurate here. So go in, look at where you've marked that fold line and make sure you're folding directly on that and then pin down your seam allowances. I like to use the pins parallel, or excuse me, uh, yeah, parallel here because 
it keeps everything from moving and shifting because it's so very thick. Be very accurate here, be very precise. Go all the way around. Okay, once we've made it all the way around, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to secure this in place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use uh, a, uh, a whip stitch here and uh, I'll go through and I don't want this to show from the right side. Um, it could because really the brim is going to be flipped up all the time, so you'll probably never see it. But my preference is that I it doesn't show um, in case the you know I want to wear the brim flipped down or something because that is one of the stylings I've seen in in the artwork from the period. So what I'm doing here is I'm getting just a small bite of that fashion fabric, um, and then going up into the uh, the seam allowances there and just a small bite that's in the lining so it does or there's extra layer there but again small bite of that fabric right there and as you can see my needle doesn't show through to the other side I'm, I'm not going through to the other side so I'm going to go through and I'm going to do a whip stitch all the way around the um, stitching down those seam allowances holding them in place. Now this isn't going to show because it will eventually be covered up by the lining. So you, you don't have to be super um, precise with this. Uh, just as long as you have stitches that are close enough to each other that they're going to keep everything in place, you'll be just fine. You know, and it's a stitch that should be fast. Um, you don't need to put a whole lot of time into it. So now we've made it all the way around. We're going to go ahead and secure our stitches by going through a couple times, and then we'll secure it once more with a, uh, a quick knot. All right, so now that's done, go ahead and turn everything right side out and flip that brim up. Uh, make sure you're folding it up along that fold line that we marked at the very beginning and it's the one that's about a, the one that we stayed a, an eighth of an inch away from. Get everything folded up and kind of zhuzhed into place, um, getting it ready for the next step, which is taking it over to the iron to press it. And so we're taking we're over at the ironing board and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it up and, it, you know, just make sure that everything is Really here you want to be very precise, be very accurate about folding it on that fold line, get everything in place, get your iron on it, and use a lot of steam. Get that steam pushed in there using your clapper. Push it. I'm using the wood is holding that steam in there, and then I'm also applying a lot of pressure into it. This is wool, so wool loves heat and pressure. It will do a lot of things if you give it heat and pressure, so just get in there. Can you see all that steam I used there? <laughs> just make sure that you're getting that exactly on that fold line. Get everything just beautifully steamed into place. Once you do this, it isn't going to go anywhere, so there's no need to uh, do any more stitching to hold it in place so it, you don't have any stitching on the outside. Everything is, is hidden from sight. So that's that. That's ready now uh, for the next step, which is to put the lining in. All right, go ahead and grab your lining and we're going to go ahead and turn it so that it is wrong side out. We're going to put our wrong sides together here. Take your lining and you're going to match the crown seam up with the crown seam. You can see here I did this wrong. I have it matched up with the edge of the brim. We don't want that. I do end up having to fix it later. Uh, this next one I do correctly. So it's um, I have the seam line of, of the lining going and matching that up with the seam line of the crown. And then pin it and secure it into place. And continue going around the hat, making sure that the seam line of the crown matches the seam line of the crown of the fashion fabric. Use as many pins as you feel that you need. You can do a lot of pins, you can do you know less pins, but just go with whatever makes you comfortable. 
So we're going to stitch this lining in place. We're going to be using, I like to use a fell stitch anytime I'm, I'm putting a lining in place. I like to do it this way because it controls the lining so that it doesn't uh, flip out. Uh, this is really great for even like, you know, any sort of garment that is uh, where you're going against an opening. I don't want it to flip out. So that's how, how I secure it in place. I sew them with, so that I'm facing so that the right, wrong sides are together and I'm sewing from the right side. And so this fell stitch is a really pretty little stitch. And it's a nice stitch to look at from the outside. Um, and once you once you get going, it, it just, it's very even, really pretty stitch. And so that's why I prefer to use this for uh, putting in linings. All right, so once we get to the end here, We'll finish up our fell stitch in. We'll go ahead and once again, we're going to secure it in place by doing a couple of um, stitches in place. We're gonna lock that in. And then we'll do a little knot at the end there too. And you wanna make sure it's not a big knot because you don't want it to show. So I usually try to get a small knot and just make sure it goes really close into the fabric. And there it is folks. Push that, get that lining um, pushed in uh, to the hat, making sure everything is kind of matched up and and, um, and all the corners are matched up together. And there you have it. And here it is. Your Doc and Beret hat is ready for the next step of styling and decoration. Thank you for sewing along with us. If you like this video and others like it, go ahead and smash that like button. Make sure to subscribe and sign up for notifications. Also, be sure to visit us at our Etsy store as well as on Instagram.